Hey guys, welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Review. Today we're going to talk about this little gem that we found at Walmart. Well, you know, streaming, walking around Walmart, you know, doing our shopping. We ran into a Mortal Kombat Arcade Classics um, machine, a little arcade machine. And the weird thing is that when I was looking at it, it's Mortal Kombat 1, but they got Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion on the side. But uh, let's see what this bad boy looks like. So as you can see, it is a Sega Genesis ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and try to... I think they actually took the blood code out. Which that, I wouldn't be surprised if they did because, you know, violence. Even though we live in the age of 2020, where everything is violent. And this little contraption here got censored. Which is ironic that a game in 2020 so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stand behind you so you can at least try so I can get a good look at it okay That's while you play it go. as you can see we're about to test this thing it is the Sega Genesis ROM if you're familiar with the Sega Genesis version that story had to put the blood code in but as I said before it seems like taking the blood code out it's gonna get it right here real quick you always got to pick Sub-Zero Sub-Zero is the cheapest character in the game for that reason anyway Sound is pretty low though. Sounds low, it doesn't sound great. But then yeah. again, the, the Genesis version never did sound good. Did it have, um... Sorry for the shaking guys, I just zoomed in a little bit. Um... I mean, it plays good from what, I, from what I'm doing. I just, um... Like, Sub-Zero's slide, I can't do it. Because the way the, ways the buttons are, pre are placed. But it does feel a little bit like a real joystick. Oh, and he did the killing. Oh, sweet. That's the that's the best fatality. That's um, sweet. It's just a regular casual uppercut. So you see very basic stuff that came with it. Um, instruction manual, which to be honest, I didn't even open it. Maybe the blood code is in the instructions. Well, That'd be cool. No, actually, it's move sets. You get a couple of move sets for the characters. So that's what came with the. Uh, that's what came with the. Um, with the box. system. Anything system. else? No, actually, no. Which is all weird, and I don't think it came with batteries either. I think you have to supply your own batteries. Yeah. No, it came with batteries. You just have to put fresh ones. In. You have to put fresh ones. Yeah. In. You, you have, have to supply new batteries. batteries. But right. this is this is the Sega Genesis ROM. Um, it's unfortunate you can't put the blood code in. So you'll be playing. A base cart of Mortal Kombat on the um, on the Sega Genesis without the blood code. Not bad. You can still play the game; it still works. Downfall. It's only single player. Um, mm. Like I said, it plays well, but because of the way the buttons are positioned, I don't think some of the special moves will come out. Mm. Uh, or at least I was having a hard time getting Sub Zero's ice slide out. You know what I was thinking? It just popped into my head as as I'm looking at this. You know. I know that it's pretty much basic ROM to mm -hmm. it, but I think that if it had a, a, a part on the side, a port, that you could connect, let's yeah, say, a know, controller it'll, it'll, to it or a USB controller lot, yeah. to it, you can actually have two people play on it and at the same time maybe attempt with the code on it. So exactly. that's that's possible, right? So what's the company that, that, that made this thing? What's the, the company, company that released is it? Arcade Classics. Arcade Classics. Is I there a number to that one? There is basic fun, actually. And I think I basic see Basic Fun is the company. I basic bought. Fun. It looks like it has a 90 on the front. I think that's a, $90, a 90s gameplay. Okay, so that's probably the, 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 the it console. It's takes three AAA batteries, and it's funny because it's rated 13 plus. <laughs> there's, no, there's no blood. <laughs> so it's like, if there's no blood in Mortal Kombat 1, like something like Smash Bros. is more violent. You know what I was thinking? Maybe this, maybe uh, there's if we go online to that specific you company, find it maybe maybe there's something in it. They just don't want to put it out there like that. So yeah, that's a possibility. That. So a possibility. what do you what do you think? I think as a showpiece to have in your living room. As a room, showpiece to have in your living room, like it's decent. I like it, but it's just it's not the Mortal Kombat experience. And it's not it's not something that it's you're going to be playing. It's not something that you would you know rush out to go buy. It's a little novelty thing that novelty. to have it. Novelty. That's the it's word. For collectors it's item. for collect it's, yeah. it's it's not even a collectors item. I would just say it's a, it's a novelty item that you can have. I would use it as a collectors item cuz it's cute. All right, so just uh, final thoughts. I like it. But Gra it's it's not something to rush on. Okay. Graphic wise? Graphic wise it's it's a Sega Genesis ROM. Sound is that the speakers sound are not is, strong. Is, the speakers aren't strong and the Genesis sound for Mortal Kombat wasn't you know always that great. But 
It sounds worse on this, but I think that's because it's condensed. Okay. All right, so thumbs up from Jay. Mortal Kombat Man, as you can see, he has Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and he has Big Shao boy. Kahn sitting in the background. Big boy. All the, be all the best, guys. As always, let's keep it keep retro. Keep it retro, guys.